Hello everyone. Welcome to Post Tech Development. Today we are going to discuss about a lead code problem and one of a recently asked question in interview, like uh, to find out a valid square. So, what is the what do you mean by a square? So, as, as you know, that is mathematical structure. So, it's a square. So, where all the four sides are equal. So, and also the diagonals of the square also equal. So, here actually, so we will be provided with four points. That's P1, point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.3, and point 0.4. So, we need to find out. So, the given points. So, if we use these given points and make it, if we try to uh, calculate a square, so it, it should uh, lead to a valid square. That's a perfect square. That's the today's uh, agenda. So, to find, uh, to write a program in Java to make sure that the given four points are uh, form a, forms a valid square. Okay. Yeah, let me go and explain. Uh, somehow we can go and find out these things. Yeah, let me go and write a square. So consider, so this is the square, and square is having the four points, there's a point A, and its coordinates is X1 and Y1. So basically a point will be having two coordinates in a 2D uh, diagram, that's X and Y coordinates. And, uh, yeah, B with X2, yeah, point B with X2 and Y2, okay, and point C with X3, comma Y3, and point D with uh, X4, comma Y4. So these are the power provided the coordinates the four points and we should make sure that so these are the four points uh, will lead to a perfect square and you know uh, as i said in uh, uh, square all the sides are equal that means a b the side a b is equal to b c and b c should be equal to c d and c d should be equal to a d or d u so it will be a valid one. And the next, another one, another point is both the diagonal, that's AC is a one diagonal and BD is an another diagonal. So these two, these two diagonals also should be equal. So then we can make sure that the given four points are a perfect valid square. So why we are going for diagonals also? Because uh, rhombus is also a, a four-point uh, quadrilateral structure. So and uh, but in the rhombus we don't be having uh, the diagonals are equal. And that's why we are going through all the things like all the sides should be equal and along with the sides, so the diagonal should be equal. So so if we get this one properly. So that will uh, solve our problem. So here actually, first what I'll do is, I will uh, consider, I'll start with A. So first I will go and I will calculate uh, the uh, length like AB. So first I will calculate AB and AD and I will calculate AC as a tag. So after that, I will go uh, for the next point B. The remaining is AB already calculated. That's why I'll go and calculate BC. And the next one is BD. So after that, I will go for C. So from the C, already BC is calculated and AC is calculated. The remaining one is CD. So I'll calculate the CD. That means, so we have all the four sides and the two diagonals. That's AC and BD. So here actually, so AB, BC, CD, AD, should be equal and it will be a, a equal length and AC equal to BD and it will be equal to a, a, a different length which is a diagonal. So that means, so we need to find out 
So at the end, we can say that we have left with only two uh, values. That's the length. One is side, and another one is the diagonal. So that's the uh, main agenda of this uh, program. So at last, uh, we will calculate all the all these sides and diagonals, and we will store it in a set. Uh, in Java, actually, we will store it in set, and uh, at the end of the uh, program, we will uh, we will look into that uh, set, and we will check. So, if the set is having any uh, uh, set, should be having a, a non-value. That's a non-value, non-zero values, and uh, and set should be having only the two values only. That's uh, one for the uh, side and another one for the diagonal. So, so if we do that one. So that's a perfect for uh, uh, making uh, four points. So that's a given coordinates are uh, forms a valid square. So let me go and uh, uh, create the uh, create a program and uh, uh, do the same thing in a program. Yeah. So I have created the class called valid square. So and uh, so I will be. Uh, Writing the uh, Boolean um, and is valid square. So I will be writing one method called is valid square and it's accepting four points. That's uh, uh, in the form of array, I will accept int p1, int array of p2. Array of P3 and int array of P4. So these are the four points, and the east point will be having two two coordinates. That's it. so for the time taking. I'll make it as false. So as I said that, so we will be calculating the distance between the two points. Uh, yeah, uh, first for that one I'll write another. Uh, uh, method so private static int um points dist so that's a distance between point i am taking it as points dist and it will be accepting two points a and b consider two points it will be accepting so and what i will do is so Rather than uh, sometimes actually uh, to find out the distance between two points, so it's uh, actually uh, x2 minus x1. If it is a point x and uh, a and b, so a is having x1 and y1, b is having x2, y2. So then x2 minus x, uh, x1 and y2 minus y1. So and the square of those things actually. So they will do. So that's the one we will do. That's uh, first. Uh, so a is having. That's a of zero minus b of zero. That's uh, consider zero as the uh, a of zero minus b of zero. That's a x two minus x one, and multiply it the same thing, and add it with y two minus y one. That's a of one minus B of one. Okay, and I will go and directly return that complete thing. Yeah. So uh, the point dist method will provide accept the two points and we will return back the distance. That's the square of the distance. So what I will go in our main uh, method is value square. So I will create a set set uh, which uh, stores as integer integer and I will make that set that set. Um, yeah. And what I'll do is set that head of, yeah. So as I said that, so here actually, so we need to find out AB, AD, AC. That's all. 
a is the p1 that's a p1 and uh, that's point this of p1 comma p2 that's a and b p1 is the a and b is the p2 that's a p1 p2 set that add of points distance of p1 comma d that's a p4 uh yeah uh, p4 or i can call uh, uh, i need to calculate the diagonal so i can say p3 is the diagonal that's a c coordinates and set that add of um points this of uh, p1 comma p4 so we calculate the three coordinate uh, three lengths of the coordinates and and the next one is so i will the first three values i have uh, we have calculated that's uh, from a to all the three other uh, coordinates and i will go for the b that's a p2 set that add of on this of uh, p2 that's p2 to a b c that's a p2 to p3 uh, p2 comma p3 and set dot add off on this top p2 to p p4 that's a diagonal one you can consider and set so we have completed with the the second two also that's a, the second set and we have left with only one that's a cd that's a set dot add off points points this top for p3 comma p4 that's the final one we have calculated p4 yeah we have done with uh, our uh, combinations and uh, as i said that first what we will do is uh, so first i will go and check set contains zero so if the set contains zero that means it's an uh, not valid uh, square so we want to that means uh, in a valid square you know we we are not having any uh, zero uh, distance that's so set not contains the zero and set dot size should be equal to equal to 2 so this is the condition so we need to check so what we are doing so check whether the set contain or not uh, set contains zero or not if it is contains zero that means it's a not valid square and uh, the set of size should be equal to 2 because in uh, as i said that in a square so the four uh, sides are equal and the two uh, the diagonals are equal that means uh, we are le uh, left with only the two sides that means one is the side and the other one is the diagonal because the set stores only the uh, the unique values um, that means all, if all four sides are equal then we will left with only one side and if two diagonals are equal then we will be uh, left with only uh, one diagonal that means uh, set will retain that property because of that so we are uh, checking so if the set can uh, set is not containing any zero values the value with zero and set size is two uh, so if we do this so it's a perfectly valid and it will check for the valid uh, square so let me go and execute the same um yeah first i will in the array of p1 so point 1 i will do so what is 0 comma 0 is the uh, first point in the array of p2 the second point is uh, so 0 comma 1 and the third point is and 1 uh, comma 1 coordinate in the area of p4 the fourth point is um uh, 1 comma 0 okay that's the one yes we have four points that's a uh, 0 comma 0 0 comma 1 1 comma 1 and 1 comma 0 let me go and check um, is this a valid square or not yeah so let me go and execute application
Yeah, we are getting through. So, yeah, I am, as in the part of B2 while pass B4 and in the part of uh, B3, I will pass B2 and then I will go and pass. That's a, I am altering the point at least. So, if we pass in different manner also, it should be provided a uh, provide proper answer. That's true because all the points are. Yeah, so so even if you alter, that means uh, the order of uh, points has been uh, changed also. So then you should get a valid answer as a true for a one. So suppose uh, if I go and change something like zero comma, I have changed one point, uh, but it's not a valid uh, point for a square. So then we'll get back answer as false. Yeah. Uh, that's it. Uh, this is the way uh, where we'll go and find out uh, the four given co uh, the coordinates as uh, points for the uh, value square. Yeah, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, this code will be uh, shared in a GitHub link. Uh, so that GitHub again, the GitHub repository and that GitHub link will be uh, placed in, uh, in the uh, video uh, links actually. So yeah, thanks for watching once again. Um, have a nice day. And uh, yeah, please do subscribe and share with your friends for more updates. Thanks for everyone.